Hello, I'm Nat Bachman. Uh, I'm from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NAIF Group. We're the developers of the Spice Toolkit. <clears throat> and this presentation is a nice half hour presentation, which I guess I will uh, somewhat uh, subset here. <clears throat> if you are interested in learning more about this, uh, please contact us. Uh, the NAIF website URL is right here. And uh, from the website, you can get all our contact information. Um, please send email to either myself or uh, NAIF manager Chuck Acton. <clears throat> So this talk is on the digital shape kernel. Um, we came up with this acronym before the person DSK became famous. So sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll go quickly over the uh, an overview of the system and talk about what it can do and the status of the system. We're not going to go through all the, all the uh, slides here. <clears throat> so the main purpose of the DSK system is to enable SPICE to do the sorts of high-level geometry computations that it does now with ellipsoidal shapes with more high-accuracy models. <clears throat> it's also a format for transmission archival of surface shape data. <clears throat> and the system consists of SPICE software, DSK file format specifications, and documentation. Uh, there are two principal types of data that it, it uh, can accommodate, digital elevation models and tessellated plate models and it supplements the existing triaxial <clears throat> shape representations. Okay, everyone's familiar with tessellated uh, plate models. Main, one of their main characteristics is that they uh, can represent shapes that uh, are not spherically parameterizable. <clears throat> in other words, for a given uh, direction emanating from the origin, there could be multiple surface points. And in fact, in the DSK system, there are very weak requirements on what kind of shapes can be accommodated. These shapes need not even be connected. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the only requirement is that for every plate in the model, there's an outward surface normal direction defined. DEMs, everyone's familiar with. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> in N66, the next version of the SPICE toolkit, we plan to include support for the tessellated plate model uh, aspect of the DSK system. We expect that the uh, DEM portion will follow in the next version. <clears throat> okay, so we're, I'm going to skip right ahead to uh, the kinds of computations that can be um, done with the DSK system. Um, plate model surface intercept. This is something that's done by the SPICE subroutine SYNCEPT. If you're a SPICE user, you're familiar with that routine. And so we're simply going to augment that routine so it can perform the same computations with an arbitrary shape. <clears throat> Plate model sub-observer point, um, two definitions available, one um, using a ray that goes to the center of the object, another that uh, drops a perpendicular onto a reference spheroid and uses that as the direction toward the, uh, it, use that as, as a definition of the nadir direction. Sub-solar point, analogous. Illumination angles uh, done at a, a plate on the model. <clears throat> Um, a routine for finding a grid of points is simply a convenience routine. It makes use of the surface intercept capability. Limb determination. This is one, it's not clear whether we're going to include this or not. It depends partly on the level of user interest. Uh, but there is the possibility of having a routine that uh, will generate limb points on a uh, complex shape. And um, similarly, uh, terminator, mo terminator model. Um, this shows uh, examples of both uh, umbral and penumbral terminator points. Um, <clears throat> go penumbral case. Here's an example of how SYNCEPT would be used to uh, find a ray surface intercept with a shape model. Um, we see that we have the, the um, same, the same um, arguments that were present. We don't change our interfaces except by augmenting them. But now we can supply the arguments DSK slash unprioritized or DSK unprioritized surfaces equals et cetera to specify a search with, um, with um, DSK data possibly using multiple surfaces. Okay. So we're planning to um, add type 4, that's going to be the, the uh, DEM capability following the N66. There are currently two uh, DSK prototypes in, in wide use, the Alpha DSK Toolkit that many of you are using, 
And the SMAP project, which is an Earth-based project, is using a Type 4 prototype. Uh, so um, I'll certainly be available to answer questions.